All right, YouTube. So we're going to be continuing today the browser security test. And previously we did Firefox. Now Firefox didn't really perform that well or perform as well as I'd hoped it would. So today we're going to be testing Internet Explorer, judging by the lack of other browsers in the computer. Um, Internet Explorer has really had issues in the past with security, especially Internet Explorer 6 has really been known for the most exploited browser ever. Um, but ever since Internet Explorer 7 came out, they introduced their phishing filter in that one. And then once Internet Explorer came, 8 came out, um, they introduced what they call smart screen filter. And, and that's what they've called it ever since all the way up to version 11, which is the latest version. Um, so that's what we're, we're, that is what we're going to be testing today. All right, so getting right into the test here, I'll show you that we have version 11 installed on the computer right now. I have disabled Windows Defender because we, like I said in the previous test, we are not testing Windows Defender. We are strictly looking at the browser's ability to block malware. So let's head over to, we'll start with the malware domain list. I forgot to put malware blacklist in there, but we can type that in. So, let's take a look at what we got here. So we'll choose, let's choose this one right here. Now we're going to throw eh, 10 or so links at it. We're just going to kind of get a good idea of, of how well the browser will react to malicious activity. That's what we're looking for. So this one looks like it might be dead. Now, I've typically not had good luck with the malware domain list so we probably have to go to malcode or something like that okay um, so let's see it looks like smart screen filter has blocked this website and as well as Komodo has so let me disable my web filter here uh, just put version 7 on here so gotta figure out where that is I think it's under yeah, firewall Enable web filter. Okay. So, I've disabled that. And it looks like the first one has been blocked. So let me get a notepad file open here. Okay, so... And we'll just start with 10 of them. So, link number one is blocked. So let's go on to link number two. Choose this one right here. And this one probably won't work if this one doesn't work right here. Okay, so it looks like that one. All right, and it looks like Smart Screen has blocked that one. It's calling unsave. We go to View Downloads. There is no real option to download it. If you right click though, you can download the unsave file, but the average user is not going to know to do that, so this one was blocked. So I'll put number two as blocked. And then this one is from the same, this is, yeah, this is the same one, so we're not going to do this one. We're going to choose a different one because obviously it's going to get blocked. So let's choose this one right here. And we'll choose this one next. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead too. I'm thinking I'm just going to head over to the, because yeah, these are all the same pretty much. And we'll try this one right here. Oops, wrong area. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that one that I just, nope. Looks like this one actually worked. So we'll save it and it's blocked. Okay. So moving on to the next one here. Count has been suspended. We'll try this one here. Whoops. 
All right, try to download, unsafe. That one is blocked as well. All right, let's go over to Malcode now and see what they offer. See if we can get anything different here. Anything that goes through so far is performing excellent. Okay, it looks like this one got through, so this one is going to be a miss. And I finally got some zero day stuff. It looks like that the smart screen filter doesn't. Nope, oh, wait, hold on. This one could harm your computer. So actually, that one is blocked. The average user would see this and panic and then hit the delete button, and it's gone. Awesome. All right, move on to the next one here. Save the file. And that one is where it is harmful too, so we'll delete that one. Move on to the next one. So that was number six and that was blocked. Save this one. 1.exe. Sounds safe, right? <laughs> yeah, not. Okay, that one was blocked too. So, so far everything has been blocked. Um, let's choose... Let's do this one right here. Now, obviously, the farther down the list you go, typically you're not going to get um, things to get past. So... It's because it's older malware, so the older it is, typically the more well-known it is. No idea. This could be a pretty big file. We'll give it a little bit here. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Okay, so this one was missed. As you can see, it's right there, but it also might be a false positive. So what we'll do is we'll upload that to virus total after and see. Well, I'm going to count it as a miss, though. So... Might be a false positive, but we'll count it as a miss. If I have time, like I said, we'll upload the virus total. So this one. Port is harmful, so we'll delete the file. That one was blocked. Let's head over to. Let's see. Let's go to Malware Blacklist here. Like I said earlier, see if we can get something to go through here using a couple different sources. Okay, so far we have one more, and then that's that'd be ten links, and only one was missed. So let's try this one right here. This is about the newest stuff you could get, and it's blocked. And that was 10. We'll do a couple more here. We'll go up to 15 if we have time here. Let's do a looks like a GIF exploit here. Let's see if we can get one of these to work. We'll save that one. Download is complete. That is a miss. Now I'll count that as number 11 because it looks like number 10 here is no longer working. Okay. So moving on. Let's try one of these here. Let's see if this will work. Okay. Saving that one. And smart screen has blocked that. So 12 was blocked. Moving on to 13. Try this one right here. See if we can get this one to work. Okay, it looks like that one's working. This one probably is dead.
In fact, I'm pretty sure that one's not working. So wait for this one. All right, that one was listed as harmful. We will follow the recommended instructions and delete it. So moving on to 14 now. Doc.exe. So we got to look at that important document here. And it's dead. Because we aren't going to look at any important documents. And that one's dead too. Any more that are going to be dead? <laughs> I'm not having any good luck here. Looks like everything might be... Uh... Yeah, that one looks like it's not working either. Man. We are doing so well and now it's just nothing. Okay, we got one right there. Save it. Harmful. So we'll... that one was blocked. Try this one right here. All right, and that one was blocked too. So, uh, looks like it blocked 13 out of 15. Only missed two of them. So that's really good. This Internet Explorer, like I said, has really come a long way in the sense of security. Um, and I know people are probably going to comment on this and, and be shocked the fact that I actually said this, but I use Internet Explorer as my primary browser on my computer. So, and I, and I like it very much. There's a few things that are, there's a few issues with it that are, are incompatible. Um, what am I trying to say here? Holy crap. Incompatibility issues with Internet Explorer have always been a problem with it. And... That's why I also use, um, I have a backup browser. You know, so if Internet Explorer doesn't work, I have that other one to back it up. But the reason I like Internet Explorer so much is, is for this reason, is for the security. Um, but this test was just everything at default, and that was it. And I disabled Windows Defender, as you saw down there. It's actually turned off completely. So this was just the, uh, the browser. That was it. As you can see, Windows Defender is turned off, and there is no other antivirus program running on this computer whatsoever. There is nothing. So um, what I'm going to do is I will run a scan with Malwarebytes here quick, and we will see. I suppose I could have started that while uh, I was talking to save some time, but sorry about that. Um, Okay, so it looks like it found five objects so far. Those are probably just in the temporary internet folder, but we will see what they are. And this is a very fast computer, so this scan won't take more than a couple minutes to complete. So I'm not going to bother even pausing the video. We're up to six now. Maybe it didn't do as well as I anticipated it would do, but like I said, it's probably just some minor infections. Okay, so it looks like it's almost done. All right, scan is completed. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, I see what it did. Okay, so... It looks like when it found, and it looks like that download manager that I was going to upload to Virus Total is just a potential one of program, so it's adware. It's not necessarily a piece of malware. Um, and, and adware, like I, was, I stated in a couple other videos I made, is very difficult to detect. So, but it looks as if Internet Explorer throws it in the recycle bin when you say delete. It doesn't actually permanently delete it from the system. That's kind of odd. I don't know why they wouldn't just permanently delete it, considering you've never actually um, 
had that file in your computer before and don't really know what it is, if that makes any sense. I mean, I understand with a Word document where if you delete it, you don't know if you'll need it in the future, so it's kind of nice to have it in that recycle bin as a more of a buffer zone where you can actually take it out if you actually need something from it. But the fact that you're downloading a, fi a, downloading a file that you pretty much could download any other time you want, I don't know why they would throw it in the recycle bin. I think that that's kind of a poor decision on their behalf, and I'd like to see them change that so that it's actually permanently deleted from the system and you don't have it in there. Granted, malware typically I've actually, I don't think malware can actually run within the recycle bin. Maybe someone can correct me on that, but I don't think it is possible. I, 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 I should say that I suppose it is possible, but I don't, I've never heard of a situation of malware running in the recycle bin. So, um, bottom line, Internet Explorer did very well, performed very well. Uh, I use it, I, I like it very much. There, are, like I said, a few compatibility issues with web pages and that I use a different browser for. Um, particularly, I guess I'll, I'll I use Chrome as my secondary, and then as the next one I'll be testing. I've never actually tested Chrome before, so it'll be quite interesting for me to see what the security results on that are. Um, so till next time on the Chrome test, I will see you guys later.